When we let the, the, the whole and natural force and current of our hatred, if you will, our laziness and our hatred, to just clear out our blood, it's as easy as taking a shit. And I could sit here for hours and hours and hours and day after day and today and in the spring, my birthday in the spring, ah, oh, yes. And see my mother is healthy and bright and my dog is aging wonderfully. And it's amazing that none of the Christians ever tell you how great it is to hate white people and Christians. I guess it's not in their interests. Oh, hi, Jesus. Go fuck yourself. Jesus gets farther and farther away the more you, you let your hatred clean out your veins. Right? They want to shove that down, like the shit inside a fat person's body, into all the layers that they don't give a fuck. And then they want to extract all kinds of your riches out of these useless... Uh, these use just vestigial layers to your mind. We don't, we don't need that level of health and circumspection and scrutiny. We just want your brute industry and belief. Give us our belief and we'll give you cancer. We're trading. Children for cancer. Children for cancer. Bring us your children. Bring us your tiled, huddled masses. Give us your faith in the system, your faith in goodness and all the books and all the great gurus of the world. Deepak Chopra, Dalai Lama, Oprah Winfrey. Look at the goodness. It's there, my friends. Do you see it? Look closely. It's looking right back at you. The face of pure goodness. That's what they have. That's what the world is. They are the representatives of what is true and what is good. And believe them when they say that you better just feel good and positive and put that past behind you because our gurus and priests have been trading children for cancer for 500 years, baby. We've got all kinds of sickness for you in exchange for your children, and you'll love it. Oh, don't you love the way we talk to different parts of your brain? We really get in there, and you've been listening to us for a while, so you believe everything we say. It's make a deal. Hey, come on over here. We got all kinds of things to sell you. We got an education, and we got vaccines to stick up your ass, and hey, we just give us your children. We'll just give you lots of things that make you die. You'll love it. Eat it. Give it. We'll give you education and safety and security and lots of big stories that tell you that big, important people, some of them might be like you. Maybe one of your family got to be a big, important person. Oh, and they're doing big, important things. And we're helping the world, and we're changing the world, and we're fixing the world, and we're building the world. And damn anyone who stands in our way, because this is the force of goodness itself. And you've looked into its face when you've looked into any face of a white person, especially those which are on television. Dun, da, da, da. It's amazing how they give us the news. They always tell the truth in a communist society. And it works because people believe it. They believe it. It's just too much. And the interesting thing is that no matter what people say or what you think they know, they never think about what their brain's taking in every day. The brain that can only really take in as much as an automobile moving two miles an hour. What's happening? Do you know? Have you read a book on it? Oh, they haven't made a book on that. Okay. We've, uh, we've sequenced the genome, but we don't have a book on what happens when the mind can't take in all the bullshit it's subjected to. That is awfully convenient, don't you think? I wonder why no one's got together. Do you think I'll get a, a student loan for that? Maybe I'll get a grant from gofuckyourselfuniversity.org. I'll go sit in a crop circle and uh, meditate, and we'll remember why. Indigo children are just amazing young narcissists you'll ever have. Just call them indigo children. They've got all kinds of great colors in their auras. They'll tell you, and they'll take all your attention, because it's like dogs you've been showering attention on your whole life. Ooh, I'm an indigo child. Ooh, look at me, I'm a crystal child. Ooh. My children have never, my, my parents, have, which are basically are my children, have never made any provision for my actual safety in this wonderful new age of metaphysical goodliness to replace the Christian barbarism of the past. We're, we're far beyond that. <laughs> we're new age people. We're spiritual. That word just cleanses everything. Here, let's just sit. We're going we're gonna to do a white, we'll do a ritual for white people. Okay, here we go. This middle age yoga doing, bend over, take it up the ass, yoga mat carrying fucking white people that I see around here all the time. Here we go. Spirituality cleans everything. I don't need toilet paper anymore. I just say spirituality cleans my mind. I am positive. I have a, a life map for five years. I'm going to become a guru. I'm going to read 500 New Age books and make post-its and join the spiritual military of up-and-coming and hip people who will trade you spiritual wisdom, wisdom for cash because it's about positivity and not the ego. Steer away from your ego. It's 
eyes steer into the orbit of those who want nothing more than to steer away from their own sense of self. Well, I'll help you with that, and I can give, make money at that now too, because spirituality is about embracing abundance and not saying no to money, which is like a force for good, especially when you say spirituality, oh, the colors of the chakra, thinking of them now, om spirituality. Think of those beautiful women in tight spandex pants, spirituality, oh, their pussies all smell the same, spirituality. Oh, yes, oh, le baba, yes, oh, they want to fuck you now, oh, yeah, le baba, oh, yeah, they're all sociopaths, oh, yeah, they don't actually care about anyone, it's wonderful, that's how we can make them pay, because we don't have an ego, and they don't have a say, oh, it's a wonderful contract, oh, let's make one today, just book now for your free consultation with Lara Lara Bang Bang, and her vestigial guru named Mr. Happy. Are you a protractor? Well, then you're the kind of person who likes to sit down, listen to me, send me money, and feel a lot better about yourself. I'm gonna be perfectly honest, people. I gotta take a piss. Gotta drain the old lizard. I gotta make Delilah speak. Samson's gotta go bang bang. Bang bang bang, Samson's gotta go bang bang. A cucaracha, a cucaracha. It's the intermission. A cucaracha, a cucaracha, a cucaracha, a cucaracha. I haven't seen any two like this today. It's great. I think I think I know I'm here. I tried sitting in this coffee shop this morning and I couldn't do it. probably eat something. Oh, 8% on my left after my camera. I should say something special. I'd like to celebrate the total failure of this YouTube channel and the strength of my inati inanity that it has managed to repulse, repel, and retard, if you will, the uh, any sort of inflammatory or non-inflammatory interest in my cogitations, my ejaculations, my meditations, and quite frequently my uh, constipations. That I've been adequately const constipated uh, in that to that degree I have been adequately compensated in being constipated. Compensated constipation is my middle name. And a kind of proclamation, an inundation, a revelation, a proclamation, a declaration. And as I said earlier, of course, an ejaculation. A big bang, if you will, inside my mind, where nothing gives way to something. And I decide that 
by the name of my mother and father, my life is going to mean something to me. It's going to mean something to this earth. I'm going to learn all over again what it means to honor my ancestors. I'm going to learn what it means to be loved by the stone people and the great waters and the living being of this river and this place. In every way, I should ever be so fortunate as to find myself within it and among it. And among, in fact, my people. Looked over by them. Their arms raised down to me. Their leaves proclaiming the beauty of a realm that could be summed up by the beautiful growth of a tree. That our intelligence springs with such an urge as that. That I shall always be at home on this good earth. Strength be to my people. Love, joy, freedom. Truth against the world.